I'm excited to announce July 8th, Raiders Stadium press conference, first press conference. We're going from we going from uh, Vegas, Dallas, New York, Miami, LA. And then back to the Raiders Stadium where I knock Earl Spence the fuck out. If he dies, he dies. I'm on some Ivan Drago shit. You dig? False. As you all see in the clip, Maurice Lee is yet again speaking Errol Spence name in vain, lying on the truth while fouling Jesus' name, using it in vain, claiming that the fight is official in his name when it's clearly not. Now, one thing I have no respect for is a grown man lying when he don't have to, swearing in the process. I just can't with Lee anymore. I respect any fighter that steps into the ring. But I can't even get spiritual when it comes to what Lee have to say. I'm going to keep it boxing. At the end of the story, something is wrong with Maurice Lee. Completely wrong. So he might want to go to church or to the doctor. Either one, the brother is lost. And the only way back is to seek God forgiveness. This is not the way to go. Now, Errol Spence came out responding to all this madness. And you know his middle name or his nickname is the truth. So when the truth is spoken, the other side is nothing but a lie. But we pretty much knew this is a lie from day one. If I'm being 100% correct, I'm pretty sure he had a lot of us fooled when he first made the video, including me. But afterwards, you could fool me one time, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. We pretty much knew he was a cap. The man literally said, I'm a speaker to existence like Jesus. <laughs> speaker, believe it, receive it. He done switched the script to speak it, don't believe it till you receive it if you have lead mindset. Now, Errol Spence came out stating, and I quote, Dude did a whole interview lying saying, in Jesus' name, after every sentence, laughing emojis. He also added, I'm fighting him for 10 million, contract been signed, press conference July 8th, in Jesus' name? Shake my head, laughing emojis, yet again. Errol, the truth, ended it by stating, dude weird as F. Laugh out loud, end of the quote. Pretty much Errol Spence in disbelief when it comes to Marie Slee acting unusual. Well, pretty much Marie Slee is the usual now. We done got used to this. But Errol Spence is pretty much shocked like I'm shocked and like everybody is pretty much shocked at the fact that Marie Slee swear and is so light on the tongue to use Jesus name in vain. And that's what's most disappointing. Forget the trolling, forget the clout chasing. It's just the fact that you keep lying and it's just a horrible look on Maurice Lee. You know this is bad when even a baby in his mother's stomach know this is a darn lie. So I don't understand the angle that Maurice Lee is coming from. He keep making it seem like it's a pre-admission. This ain't Dragon Ball and you ain't Beerus. So instead of all the nonsense, the question should be, what is the benefition of all this unusual behavior? I mean, even Errol Spence gave it a thought to spar Maurice Lee. However, Maurice Lee action of late done creeped Errol Spence out. So Maurice Lee really need to get it together. This is definitely ain't the way. So when it comes to Errol Spence versus Maurice Lee, this is pretty much all I have to say. If y'all want my full take on the matter, check out the videos in the comment section below that I made when they first have their drama, or at least Maurice Lee battling with his demons, period. So with that being stated, if I don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all. That's how I'm going to move, especially when it comes to this topic. So subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these decaps, a.k.a. 
dumb casual ass fans slash old media shout out to dbn the entrepreneur of new media that i'm a part of and if you a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore all you have to do is click on the notification bell to get notified every time i post or go live on split decision it's a boxing debate slash talk show where our key is the past present and future undisputed pound for pound when it comes to debate they treating me like the iron mic of split decision when it comes to debating the most fear i have floyd mayweather record when it comes to debating literally and none of these decaps want to put a blemish on my record i'm standing at 500 and no with 500 ko's when the show's supposed to be split decision my view your view my take your take However, I'm knocking everybody out. I'm coming like Iron Mike. It's man down over here. So all I'm saying is, grow some cojones and call in. This is directed to all the decafs that don't even got the cojones to debate our key. But they stay in the comment section being keyboard warriors. So with that being stated, shout out to Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me on Instagram and to be continue on the next episode of Aki Aki Ak TV. Peace and we out of here.